Republic. I like the sound of the word. It means people can live free, talk free, go or come, buy or sell, be drunk or sober, however they choose. Some words give you a feeling. Republic is one of those words that makes me tight in the throat. Same tightness a man gets when his baby takes his first step or his first baby shaves and makes his first sound like a man. Some words can give you a feeling that make your heart warm. Republic is one of those words. Baby, what's going to happen to us? I mean, to you and me. I'm going to tell you something, Flacca, and I want you to listen tight. It may sound like I'm talking about me, but I'm not. I'm talking about you. As a matter of fact, I'm talking about all people everywhere. When I come down here to Texas, I was looking for something. I didn't know what. It seems like you had up my life, and I'd spend it all either stomping other men or, in some cases, getting stomped. Had me some money and had me some medals. But none of it seemed a lifetime worth the pain of the mother that bore me. It was like I was empty. Well, I'm not empty anymore. That's what's important. To feel useful in this old world. To hit a lick against what's wrong, or to say a word for what's right, even though you get walloped for saying that word. Now, I may sound like a Bible beater yelling up a revival at a river crossing camp meeting, but that don't change the truth none. There's right and there's wrong. You gotta do one or the other. You do the one and you're living. You do the other and you may be walking around, but you're dead as a beaver hat. Bowie, Crockett, Travis and Dickinson and the others who died in the Alamo. Held off an army for 13 days, yet it's hard to believe that they ever existed. Had become legends before the smoke over the battle had blown away. What kind of men were they? Well, we know that they died and that they were heroes. But nobody wants to die, and nobody just decided to be a hero. Has to be forced on you. That's what happened to them. It was forced on them because they were stuck with ideas like freedom and the rights of the individual and a hatred of dictators. Crockett, for instance, refused to sign the oath of allegiance to the government of Texas until they changed it to the Republican government of Texas. Living free meant a lot more to them than cowering in security. Another thing about Crockett, when he left for the Alamo, he sent his children this message. I hope you'll do the best you can. I'll do the same. Don't be uneasy about me. I'm with my friends. Worked out just about that way. He stayed with his friends, and he did the best he could. 